Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing great. I've been a little absent for the last couple of weeks. I've not been too well. I am back on the YouTube content. The last couple of videos have been me sort of really talking about how much I need a holiday. And I'm very excited to tell you that the holiday is booked. Me and another one of my friends who does Instagram, Georgia, are going to Rhodes for three days. The holiday shopping has officially begun and I could not be more excited. So today's video is a Bershka haul. I kind of always forget about Bershka whenever I'm shopping. I'm gonna do a big, big, big pack with Nick closer to the time, but I just thought that we could do a little try on today. Whenever I do an order for YouTube, I don't like to look at the email because it reminds me of what I ordered and I did order this like a week ago. So whatever's in here, at the moment is a complete and utter surprise to me because I genuinely, I have the brain of a pig. I can barely remember things that I did yesterday, let alone a week ago. So let's crack on. I picked up a denim cargo skirt. I am loving cargo skirts at the moment. Cargo skirts I think are going to be huge in the summer. I mean they were pretty big last summer but this year even more so. And denim as well. I'm also seeing a lot of denim over on my Instagram so I'm really into denim. I'm really into cargo skirts hence. So isn't it cute? Isn't she cute? This one wasn't so much for holiday but more so just for summer in general. I'm not really a denim type of girl on holiday so I mean it'll be interesting to see if any denim ends up in the case because as of right now I don't think I'm planning to take anything denim with me to Rhodes. Next is another cargo skirt. Um, this is actually part of a two-piece. There's a blazer that goes with this skirt. I love this blazer. I'm obsessed with this blazer. Um, so I'm really hoping that this fits and it looks nice on me. So I just think how like classy and expensive. Just hi. <laughs> I always feel like cupboards like this, they do kind of drown me out a little bit. I definitely know that I want to keep the blazer as long as it looks good on, everything permitted. Um, again, this also wasn't a holiday purchase. This was more just so it looks cute. So I bought it. The thing that I picked up is this little denim corset. It looks denim, but it feels like kind of cotton silky. It's not actual denim, it's like printed denim, which is a bit bizarre. Um, but the thing that I like about this is usually denim corsets don't really have a lot of shape on you. They sit kind of a bit weird, whereas corsets like this I think just give a lot more of a flattering fit to your figure. This should look really good on. I am a little bit concerned because it looks quite small. This little crop top, how fucking cute is this? I'm just, this one 100% is a holiday purchase. We all know how I feel about a slogan. Like I just, I am obsessed. I have a lot of plans for this top, okay? and she's not leaving me she's most definitely not leaving me i think that was probably the shortest haul that i've ever done in my entire life i feel like i might just show you some other stuff that i picked up for the holiday just to <laughs> make this video a bit longer because currently all we're working with is like five items in the two weeks that i've been absent from youtube i have actually done quite a bit of shopping already I cannot tell you how fucking long I've wanted one of these bucket hats for. For right now, for this holiday, the kind of vibe that I was on with it being a content trip and just like the hotel that I'm going to. I don't know, this sounds really stupid to say, but the hotel goes with the bucket hats. I did actually buy these off DHgate um, because the real ones are like £105. And I mean, this was £15. I paid £30 for two of these. Had I bought them from Jackamoose, it would have cost me £210, which I wasn't 
I wasn't really feeling. I went to Harvey Nichols a couple of weekends ago with my boyfriend and I was trying some on and that's what inspired me to go and buy them. So I tried them on, they really suited me. I am going to be completely honest, I am seeing no difference in the terms of quality, the structure of the hat, you know, the logo, everything looks the same. So I'm really impressed with these. I love these hats. So what you want about a bucket hat, but I frigging love them. And for £15, how can you go wrong? And then here's the black one as well. I'm not actually sure how I feel about the black one. I think I do prefer the cream one. I, I don't know how I feel about it. You know, you might see it in some of my holiday content. You might not, because I'm really still not sure how I feel about the black. I also went to Primark and did a teeny bit of holiday shopping with my mum. I only picked up a couple of things in Primark because there wasn't like really that much in there in the way of like great stuff. So I only picked up two things. Um, I got these sunglasses. These look so cool off and I really like the colour of them, the thick frame. But like on my face, I don't think I look a bit like a bug. I'm just, I'm, again, I'm really not too sure how I feel about these. I don't think I like them. They look good as, like, a sunglass on top of the head. I don't know what it is about them. Look, I couldn't try them on in the shop because they had the um, big, like, plastic thing over it. And I couldn't really see how they looked. But then when I got them home and took everything off, I was like, oh my fucking god, these glasses look hideous on me. <laughs> They'll come with me because I really like to sort of switch up and diversify my content. And part of that means not wearing the same sunglasses in every single post. I think they will have to remain on the top of my head. The last thing that I picked up is this bag. They had so many cute crochet bags in there. And I honestly, if I was going away for longer than three days... I could have bought more. I've got so many bags already. You know, I picked up a beach bag the last time I went into Primark. I just didn't need all of these bags. I've got nowhere to put them realistically. So I just went for my favourite one. There's a little pouch inside the bag for you to put all of your stuff in. So obviously, A, it doesn't fall out and B, strangers don't see what you're carrying it if you've got private items in there you know I thought this would look really cute with a lot of the outfits that I've got planned and it's also a really cute little beach bag for you know if you're just going to like a pool club or something for the day and you don't want like a massive huge beach bag you just need like a little bag to put essentials and stuff in I just I love this bag I wish that I could wear it all the time but I just thought it was very practical I've completely and utterly derailed the video. Let's finally go and try it on the Bershka stuff. The reason I'm sitting here and recording this video today. <laughs> Next up is the denim cargo skirt. Um, the first thing I'm going to say about this is I'm not huge on the colour. Typically, I prefer a lighter denim. Um, and I mean, I don't hate this completely. Not like completely and utterly opposed to it i think with the right accessories and stuff this could be really cute but, <coughs> but <coughs> i'm sorry i'm talking through like the most blocked nose ever hay fever is absolutely kicking my ass the fit of it is absolutely sensational it's a really snug fit um and the length is perfect as well it's not too short i'm gonna hang on to this and see how i feel about it i think i would just prefer it to be a little bit lighter here is the two piece on um like i imagined i absolutely love the blazer and i'll 100 percent be keeping this and this will look really nice styled with wide leg leather trousers um, jeans, even like cream trousers, maybe cargoes, skirt, and this is probably a me problem. I just feel like it sits a bit loose, like it's not very fitted at the waist. If I pull it down to like just below my belly button, it does fit, but that's, I don't know, a bit too conservative for me i feel like the first lady i feel like i'm about to take the stage at a conference or something with the skirt being this length i don't know the skirt oh oh my god okay hello here's a revolutionary idea 
Okay, so if we fold the skirt that, that's better. I think it's maybe the length of the skirt that I'm not so in love with. I really like this colour. Um, I think it looks great with the tan. Definitely prefer the skirt rolled up. But yeah, I'm going to say this is maybe one of the nicest two pieces. I'm just waffling at this point, but yeah, um, we like. All summer long, prepare to be sick of me on this skirt. I feel like it's all I ever wear. I've had it for three years from misguided. Um, and I think every single week that I'm shooting any piece of content, this skirt is involved. It's just my favourite and I'm really sad that I can't make it for you guys. This looks good with everything, um, this corset included. I was worried about the fit of this. I'm no longer worried. This is sensational. If you can find a skirt similar, then this is an incredible holiday outfit. Um, I've changed my mind. This is actually my favourite of the haul. Um, I'm just... I'm really impressed. I just... I honestly did not think that I would enjoy this top as much as I do. Like, everything else I picked up, when I pulled it out, I was more excited for. But this... This is the star of the show. This top is incredible. This outfit's incredible. I feel incredible. I feel like a very powerful woman right now. Bershka absolutely never lets me down is one thing I'm going to say because this top is so adorable. It's really nicely fitted. I did actually think this was going to be a bit more of a loose fit um, but it's, I'm a bit scared that I'll be in like I can't really say on the camera whether or not we're in dangerous nip territory, so I'm just going to go for it anyway. It's actually really quite fitted, um, which I like because this is how I like t-shirts and, you know, like crop vests to sit. And ordinarily, I would have to tie it with a bubble at the back to make it sit like this, but it's just doing it on its own. The vision that I had for this on holiday was either an outfit like this with a denim skirt, despite me just saying... I don't think I'm taking anything denim with me. I don't know. I feel like this would be a cute content outfit in this country. Maybe. I think with the little yellow bag, I just think this all ties really nicely together colour-wise. You know, I've got the yellow to match the lemons. The denim matches the blue on the top. This is like just a really nice colour coordinated outfit and this is the kind of shit that I live for. I was sort of picturing having this you know, on holiday, on the beach of an evening with either a pair of blue bikini buttons or yellow bikini buttons, you know, like white t-shirt kind of vibe. Um, and I just think it's so perfect. I mean, how can you go wrong with a top like this in your wardrobe? This has maybe been one of my favourite hauls ever. Although it was short, I am bringing a load of really exciting holiday content to the channel over the next couple of weeks. So if you're not already, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss them. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have. Bershka has massively gone up in my estimations. I mean, it was definitely one of my favourite brands already before this video, but even more so now. Like... Maybe top three. I'm going to put Bershka in my top three. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.